A Western Hills mother turns her tragedy into triumph today by honoring her son's murder and supporting those with similar stories. Nine News reporter Sayed Shabir joins us live from Western Hills with the message she wants other mothers to hear. Sayed? Well, Julie, three years ago today, 27-year-old Thomas Jabert was killed right here on the Western Hills Viaduct. His mother, Kim, tells me he was simply walking to work and did not deserve to die. That's why this afternoon she held a memorial cookout so other mothers and family members of murder victims could come together to support each other. Kim says her son loved to spend time with children and spent his weekends with his family. She says he'd spent his lunch breaks at the library and always stayed out of trouble, making it hard for her to understand why anyone would want to kill him. Police later determined Jabert's killer thought Jabert was someone else. So Kim is warning kids that simply trying to stay out of trouble is no longer enough. How do you explain telling kids to stay away from trouble? You can't tell children to stay away from trouble now because trouble follow you everywhere. You could be standing up at the bus stop. You can be walking down the street doing the right thing and something happens. Now, Jabert's killer was arrested about a year and a half after the killing, but there are still a handful of mothers who are still waiting for justice. Now, at today's event, the organizations who killed our kids and the Cincinnati Initiative to Reduce Crime were at the event, and they wanted to remind parents and family members that there is help out there if they need it. Julie? Touching to hear her words tonight. Say it should be live in Western Hills.